This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Sofnoska. Map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. And I have to say, you're going to be feeling a little bit nostalgic if you played this map in Farm Sim 15, Farm Sim 17, and now play it once again in Farm Sim 19. Now let me read a little bit of the description. It says, Welcome to Sofnoska. Agriculture is one of the most important industries in Eastern Europe. The wide, flat landscape is ideal for managing large fields. The farm near Sofnoska emerged from a former cooperative. Even today, the village puts much emphasis on self-sufficiency through animal husbandry and cultivation of fields. Widespread nearby forests are furthermore suitable for fertile forestry. Step the challenge, expand the farm, and upgrade your machinery to the latest technology People of Sof Noska are going to be counting on you. We even have a really great backstory to this map. This map includes the original field layout, original buildings and roads, original cell point locations, transport missions, and the original wild looking grass, as the description says. A new crop type of rye has been added. Now, there is a new silo extension, new icons for hay and grass, a new farmhouse with sleep trigger, new purchase point. At Village Grain Elevator, chicken pens have been increased. The cow pen door animations have been added. Pig pen building has been adjusted. There is a custom fuel trailer included with the map. And all placeables can be bought uh, that are tied to the map are under the Soft Noska door brand. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I may have forgotten to mention, this map is available for all platforms also. I loaded this map up earlier, giving it kind of a look around. I tried it with straw harvest and seasons. There were no issues whatsoever with that. You don't have to worry about having any conflicts with respect to the added rye crop type. Map is loading up, and there we are. Wow, that is that is a iconic and rememberable scene, I'm sure for folks that played this map in 17 or 15. I really didn't play this map too much in 17 myself. Go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Take a look at the lands area. You're gonna see we start out by owning the main farm here, as well as fields 14 and 19. And our farmhouse is right here on this little triangle piece of land. Uh, there are four animal farms on this map, or four animal areas. We have the cow farm here, the cow area, $485,000 will buy that. We have the chickens here to the north, $112,000. We have pigs to the west, $494,000. And we have sheep to the south, $330,000. You're going to notice there aren't any animal icons on those areas, and that is because we have to buy them before we can use them. Take a look at some of the other land areas. We've got a big forest here in the middle, $751,000. Also have two forest areas here, kind of divided, $493,000 for the left, $253,000 for the right. Our largest field is field 18 at 20 acres, $534,000. And then I would dare say our smallest field is probably going to be Field 9, field 9, or field 9 at $91,000. Take a look here at our cell points. We have many cell points. We have six, in fact, that accept most of our crops on the map. We also have our spinnery for our cotton and wool. We have two cell points for eggs and milk. We also have two cell points for wood chips. We have two cell points for silage, a straw, and grass. Here you can see the custom icons for grass, and this is a sun icon to say that it is dried grass, if you will. We have our rye 
see that we do have two locations that will accept pellets if we play with straw harvest. Start out with a fair bit of equipment here. No, we don't. We don't start out with a fair bit of equipment. <laughs> Getting my maps mixed up already. We start out with a limited list of equipment. It is all old, poorly maintained. And, well, you're not going to get too much for it if you try to sell it. So it's best to use this until basically it's all worn out. Don't have any animals at the start because we don't own any animal pens. And we do have contracts available on that. Let's go ahead and buy these animal areas. And I'll jump right back and show you basically where they are on the map. And uh, we'll get started with the tour. As I said, we have the cow area here. We have the chicken area. We have the pigs. We do have the viable biogas plant. Can't remember if I mentioned that. $577,000. Then we have the sheep area. Right down there. So the main, let's go ahead and take a look. Sorry, let's get to our starting equipment. We've got the Armor Track 1104, has 43 hours on it. Tara ST Max 180, 26 hours. Interesting, we don't have like the Fent at the Stara. We have the Bison Super P056, 36 hours on that one. Have the matching header, 38 hours on that one. SEK 802 Trailer. We have a cultivator, E830 seeder. We have a fertilizer tank and the seed tank uh, that we cannot really get any money for if we sell. See, they have the Soft Novka, Soft Novka um, branding here. If we go to the brands, go over here to the S's. See that brand right there. Then these are all of the custom placeables. For the map, I kind of like this idea that it's all in a custom brand. We have a custom water station, sea tank, fertilizer tank, large grain silo. We can't sell the silo that's here on the farm. We could buy another one and put it somewhere else. Large silo extension, matching the grain silo. We have a large bunker silo. These are the farm sim um, 17 style bunkers. I don't know if they look like this in 15. But I know they look like this in 17. Easel storage. Easel purchasing. Okay, so here you can store easel. $4 a day, 20,000 liters. And we need to use the FST 990 to fill it. Here we can buy diesel fuel. Refilling will be charged at a higher rate than at the public diesel station. Convenience fee. Vehicle shelter. Large storage shelter, vehicle workshop, chicken coop, cow pasture, pig enclosure, sheep pasture, farmhouse with the sleep trigger, and then we have the fuel trailer. And unlike the in-game fuel bowser, this can refuel vehicles and be used to store uh, transport fuel to this placeable fuel storage and put it in there. Now, while we can buy these animal areas, we cannot sell them. So the ones that are there are burned into the map. Kind of akin to the play style of 15 and 17. They're there, and you can't get rid of them. But if you want to put more down somewhere else, you have that choice right here. Again, the farmhouse. Go here, back to our garage. You'll see we don't have the farmhouse. Can't sell it, but we could have put another one down playing in multiplayer uh, that would be an option for you if you start this map up in farm manager or start from scratch uh, you don't own any land and you don't have any vehicles also don't own the house here farmhouse itself is there but the sleep trigger is not there so like for example if we sell this sleep trigger went away house isn't gone it's still there just no longer associated with our farm so i think i haven't tested this let's try it sell this 
And let's just try. Try as you will. Uh, so that's awesome. So if you don't want the farmhouse where it is, well, sell the land. Turn the deed over to the bank and buy your little house and put it down wherever you want. Deep trigger. During the farm tour here, we're going to go take a look at the proper farmhouse that is over here on the triangle piece of land. But at any rate, so here we have the old grass from 17 and 15 related to the map. I have to say, I kind of prefer this grass over some Farm Sim 19 grass. Down off in the comments, do you agree? Here, here, do you agree? Thumbs up if you like it. So, let's go ahead and take a look here at the main farm. We've got our storage sheds. Post-war concrete style. We have our maintenance workshop. Our workshop trigger. While we're here, let's go ahead and go across the street. We have a bale storage or bale cell point across the street inside the building. We have, of course, our farm silo and a dump point up the ramp. Dump down the ramp. We can buy fuel and convenience fee going to cost more than buying it from a gas station. Then we have our pipe out here. We have seed and fertilizer fill points. We can sell these or we can put them back down if we want. If we sell them, we don't get any money for them. So you might as well keep them there. And then our starting equipment. That's right there. And our harvester. Now we have lots of silage bunkers on the map, just kind of scattered around. We have one here at the cow farm area. And we're going to see plenty of those when we do our aerial fly around. Harvester over here on field 19, which is ready to harvest. And while we're here, let's go ahead and check out the cow area. We already bought it. We'll my uh, cows and such. We have working doors in 19 or sorry in 17. These doors were just permanently open. Could never close them. 19, we now have the ability to open and close the doors. Nice. Have our manure pit, our slurry trigger, and our milk trigger. And dun, 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 dun. milk sales, automatic milk sales. So if you use Animal Pen Extension, which is the mod that gives me the pipes at the water trigger, that is, we'll find that later. Um, there used to be a feature or, where you had to embed in the map automatic milk sales. Not a lot of people did it because not a lot of people customized their map to fully support animal pen extension. Now, Andy, Andy, that GTX, the map author, is also the author of animal pen extension. So clearly, he's done himself a favor and he's incorporated his own mod into his own map edit. We have automatic milk sales. Dun, 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 dun. Rescue. I know there are some folks that don't like hauling milk manually. Other folks do enjoy it, but some people don't. If you don't enjoy it, you can have it auto-sell. It is a small service fee for that convenience. What else would you expect in a socialist government, right? Here we have our... Must be our straw trigger. I was like, wait, that's not our animal buy trigger. Our animal buy trigger I've already found. It's over here. I got a feeling a lot of people are really excited about this map. Here we have our animal buy trigger. Okay.
400 cows. Holy cow. Holy cow for the cow area. 400 cattle. And then we have our water trough over here. And we can activate that. We can basically buy if we want. Water pipe. Basically, it's going to cost us $4,900 to install an automatic water pipeline. And it should be ready in hours. In hours. We'll get that built out. Run over here to the farmhouse. Show you where the proper farmhouse is located. Here is the proper farmhouse that comes with the map. And if you don't own the land, sleep trigger is not going to work. But if you buy this, you'll have the sleep trigger right here. Hey. Okay. Little area is all fenced in. Next to this waterway. Hey, a farm sim, a farm sim 15 map, quite honestly, has never looked this good. Right? You got, you got me? You agree? You do. Thumbs up. All right, let's go ahead and get set up for the fly around. And we'll take a look at the map from above. And we'll settle down at the shop and do a little bit of a drive around. Clear these tall poplar trees. Of course, remember, we put that farmhouse down there. That's not supposed to be there. So here we have the main farm. We have the add-on cow area here. Across the street, we have bale, cell point, and some storage. Cut down those poplar trees, and, well, you're going to have all kinds of land that you can merge. Where is the shop? So the shop's to the north. So that's where we're going to end. Um, let's head this way. Kind of veer right and loop around. So according to the description, this cell point, Village Grain Elevator, I think is new. And I didn't play this map in 17 or 15. So I don't really remember a whole lot. As to what was and what was not part of the map. But it does look like livestock supplies, farm supplies. So when GTX says that there is a new purchase point, I think he's implying that we can come here and we can buy crops. Or we can buy livestock feed, animal feed, and other various things from here. As well as this being a sell point. Pretty neat idea. Here we have the mill pond. This is a log cell point. We have our animal dealer. We have the bakery. Here we have a cell point for milk. We have a little bit of the town here. Complete with some little garden areas, garden fields. Head down the eastern side of the map. Think a little bit about uh, orientation. There we have the farmhouse. We have the cow farm, main farm. To our right, we have one of the many silage bunkers scattered around the map. I didn't play, as I said, in 15, but I think silage ruled the day in 15. Lots of 15 maps seem to have silage bunkers all over the place. One of our fuel stations there. 
have a grain cell point here. Then we have kind of a root crop cell point here at the train. Loop along this way, we're going to be coming down here to the sheep area. A silage bunker, sheep farm. We're going to take a closer look at that later. Fuel station. Another grain buy point. And here we have another log cell point. Lots of fuel on the map. I think in 15 they were worried about you running out of fuel. We have another public gas station there. Loop on over here to the spinnery. Another silage bunker. Spinnery for our cotton and wool. Across the dam we go. Garden center. Garden center, and we also have seed and fertilizer fill points here at the garden center. Let's up and over the center forested area. Be off in the distance, another forested area. That's the other area that was kind of split into two. Over here to the pig area. And for the most part, this is this is kind of like uh, the Farm Sim 19 pig area with the building changed out and the biogas plant. Another cell point over here, transport company. Another fuel station coming up. Like I said they liked their fuel stations in 17, didn't they? Coming up here to another part of the town. By area. University or city school. I like the houses. I like these little garden plots. Kind of behind them. We have a milk cell point, and I believe on this side is an egg cell point. Remember back in 17 where we had the, the chicken and the egg icon? Coming over here to another silage bunker. Another gas station, and then the chicken farm, chicken area. And then we're going to conclude our aerial tour here at the shop. Run in here and activate our shop icon. Sometimes when I'm in fly mode, triggers don't quite work right. Oh. All big parking lot out here for our vehicles to spawn in. We have our customized repair and sell trigger here to the side. All right, let's go ahead and... Get to driving around the map and checking things out. Now, for this, I'm going to go in the opposite direction that we just came from. Just for funsies' sake. 
Over here to our left, we've got that forest divided up into two areas. Gosh, it really, man, it really mangled the grass in 19. Kill trigger, savage bunkers galore. Of course, gonna need to own the land that the silage bunker is on to use it. Okay, be aware of that unlike 19 or unlike 17 or 15, where you know you only bought fields, you only bought fields. Let's talk right properly. You only bought fields in 17 and 19, or sorry, 17 and 15. Still can't talk. Um, in 19, you asked to ask you. Take two. In 19, you have to actually buy the land. Here we have another, what? Water trigger. So yes, so um, GTX has added water to chickens. Okay. We have our chicken buy point here. Got the water trough. And then in a few hours, we're going to actually get a little water valve for that. We have our food trough for our chickens. And then we have egg spawn point here. Take a look here at our animals. You'll see chickens now require water and wheat, barley, or corn. Cleanliness, eggs, cows, normal fare there. This custom grass is only mowable on bought land. You can't actually plant that grass. Plant grass, you're going to go back and get the normal Farm Sim 19 looking stuff. Here we have our egg cell point here at the grocery. And let's see if I can just sneak. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Around the back of the building, we have the milk delivery point for the grocery. We have the vegetable warehouse. Come in here with a big trailer. Have a sharp turn. Get back out. The fuel station over there. Have our biogas plant. Back in the day, they had big biogas plants for a digester, and we have five bunkers. One, two, three, four, and number five. Way station, and over here, we have our digestate trigger. No pipe to come up under. You just pull up here beside the tank and pull out your digestate. Across the street, we have our pig area.
We have our water trough, then our activation icon to buy the piping here. We have our straw trigger. Pig trigger. Newer flurry and our food trough. Let's go back here. I didn't see how many pigs here you will take. Three hundred porkers. Lots of bacon makers. Holy ham bone. What other kind of Porky puns can we come up with? Shoot across here to the transport company. Then we'll make our way over to the spinnery and garden center. Transport. Fuel station on our left. And those, those Russian Slavic uh, vehicles, they must get some really bad fuel economy. Must be why this must be why vehicles like on SnowRunner suck down fuel so bad. Remember, stylish bunker. We need to buy the land to use it. Cell point. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to take that. They said, can't you see I'm making a video here? They said, no, I can't see anything. I'm on a phone with you. I was like, oh, good point. Oops. And then this way to the garden center. Lots of shortcuts all around the map. They've played the map quite a bit. So all of these little dirt path shortcuts. Here we have a seed fill up. We have our cell point. And then we have our fertilizer. Station. What is this? Current center takes wood chips. 
door, slurry, digestate. Huh. So that dump station back there might be for wood chips and this might be for your liquids. There is a possibility. Head down here and we need to make a right. Dirt road, cut. Oops. So road signs don't have collisions, which of these do. Oh, road signs and road posts are magic. Just the way I like them. So sound off in the comments. Did you play this map in 15? Play a map in 17? How many hours did you have on the game save? That console players played the heck out of this map in 15 because well didn't have console or mod maps right here we have the lumber yard down here to the Excel point. Kind of look around. Now that's I wonder there's so many Polish maps out there. All these great assets these can be pulled out of the uh, off Moscow map here. Oh, we have a uh, token traffic circle. Americans get stuck in the traffic circle and they just go round and round and round. The merry go round. No idea where they're going to get off. Down here we have the Deep building. We have our food trough. We have our wall spawn point. We have our water trough with our pipe activation. You have the animal pen extension activated. On the back, we then have our deep delivery point. 500 sheep for this area. Working gate. Have a silage bunker. We have to own the land. Bunker is on before we can use it. Great yard. Here we have a root crop cell point up here and sell it here. Bear belt. 
bump into the waiting train car. Scale work. Another traffic circle. We're on turn. All the way around down the hill. Rail yard. Now we've got the scuff marks on the ramps here. Concrete retaining walls everywhere. Kind of a everything has this concrete industrial look. Build it with concrete, it'll last forever. Here we have another log cell point and a wood chip cell point right here. Yet another fuel station. We're going to run up the eastern side of the map here. Our farm is just over there. The main farm is just over there. Vehicle shop off in the distance. Trying to figure out how we're going to do this. That boundary up in that general direction. You there. There, everybody. see that uh, that was allowed in another chicken egg cell point Turn off what came first chickens or the eggs bakery Milk cell point. And we're animal dealer. Whoa, there. And then one final cell point down the hill at the log pond. Another resource to sell your logs. Put them in the pond and, well, hit the trigger. 
and there you go. So guys, that is going to do us for false Novka. Again, this map was originally in Farm Sim 15, then it was part of Farm Sim 17, and now, once again, uh, you can play it here in Farm Sim 19. Let me know in the comments again, did you play this map in either iteration? And if you did, what do you think of this edit? Conversion, I should say. Till next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.